Hello, uh, welcome back to my channel, day 17, I think, uh, I'm also losing track today, I'm going to do a bit of a nostalgic page, um, I collect, amongst other things, uh, Dala horses, they are from Dalarna region in Sweden, um, they look like this, I'm sure you recognize them now, uh, they're quite well known, they generally come in red, but they come in other colors too, so I've cut, I've cut three on my brother's scanning cut, it's one of the set designs, um, and I want to, I want to do that as a symbol for the time that I lived in Sweden. So um, I often think about my time there. It was a long time ago, it feels now. Um, and just, yeah, some memories and things, especially with Easter. So I've got some black ticking. Scandinavian design, obviously quite pared back um, and simple lines and things. So that's also a struggle for me. And I think I'll add some of the lace and things. And then play around with that. Um, I don't want to overwhelm the page, but at the same time, the horse is such a striking feature and figure and design. It needs to speak for itself, but it can't also just float about. I'm going to go ahead and clear Jesso the page for in case I want to do some uh, either like maybe a, a paint or something. I've got those two. It's not a true red, but neither is the horse that I cut. Um, maybe just some smears or something. I must say, I'm starting to, after yesterday's page, where I had such a clear vision, and then the thing just didn't want to do what I wanted it to do. You know, you you lose your, your confidence and your mojo a bit. So, of course, having said that I've lost my mojo a bit, um, let me just go and do another difficult, <laughs> difficult or non-obvious page. I I wanted to do a jelly print on a tiniest little piece of paper using a uh, stencil. I don't have many things that I would qualify as uh, Scandinavian, but uh, that will do. Except this is what just happened to my paint, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I must say I'm completely off my story now after this whole thing. <laughs> I was using this mat for something else. It's crumpled. Um, okay. Um, Let's start again. Hands are covered in paint, but I have to get this done because um, otherwise I run out of time with uh, kids and nap and Easter egg hunts and the whole story. Okay, we will persevere. Uh, that wasn't, wasn't intended. Uh, I'm just straightening out, not even with any real care, the ticking. Um, and then I'm going to layer that. I just want to get the balance right. Um, this is a little jelly print plate that I did manage to pull. I want some of it, but I don't necessarily want all of it. Although I don't even know if I need it. It's a difficult thing with a horse being quite... Busy. Yeah, I don't think you need it actually. I can't decide on this ticking if I like some of it. I think it must be completely separate to the horse though. Okay, yeah, more like a banner. Okay, yeah, I like it as just a banner. The page needs to be simple, but it can't be unfinished. Maybe just a paper doily isn't. Yeah, that's good. Um, it's starting to be a nice contrast. What my plan is, because I've got the three horses, is I'm offsetting it ever so slightly, one on top of the other, that you can see the red coming through, but that the thing's not, that you get the sort of 3D effect. So that, that, okay. I think the black's too black. Um, I'm gonna. 
I think I'm gonna do it over the and then I think if I do the doily I don't need the lace anymore okay well that sorts that out I do like the ticking I might just need a bigger piece of the ticking let's keep that there and then um, I think I'm just doing an effect over the doily so I'm going to put the doily on straight on the just sort of there straight on the gesso and then if I stencil or something I'll go over um I haven't washed the stencil because I've now used it for the jelly pool because I had the paint I think I'm just gonna see I just don't know if it needs to be mm. It may just end up too busy. If it's too busy, I'm just going to paint over it. So what I've got is I've got some of the uh, buff titanium, which I'm rubbing through. But obviously some of the red will now also go through. I just don't know how much, but we will find out when I... Lift the stencil. Um, yeah, I don't mind it actually. I may just need to clean up a bit. Um, so let me, oops, here. See, I don't really want the edges showing. I'm just continuing to go over with some of the red. It also ties in the black a bit and takes the white of the doily away because the horse is, that's fine. These horses are con country items, um, so I mean the doily is very cottagey country. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just going to soften these lines, uh, like almost smudge them, so that there's no straight lines. Yeah, that's better. I didn't want that. Okay, now. That needs to dry. Where it's still very solid black, I'm just taking whatever's on the palette knife and just giving it um, a bit of color. Um, so that it's not so solid. Some texture. Okay, that's sort of dry. Let's dry enough, I guess. Okay, let's work on the horse. So that's a horse that's now sort of 3D'd on the page. Uh, I like it. Um, the, some of the redness is gone, but you can still very much. It's like a, a grungy dollar horse, I guess. Um, I still like the black and white. I've cut that strip in half that it's become sort of grungy. I think I'm going to start doing either like a banner or something just to bring some of the white back again. I've, I've stuck the horse down um, and then I've made a little cluster. I haven't done it. Um, of like lace and a vintage pom-pom lace and the ticking and then for me collection because obviously it is it's literally a collection and um, I'll show a picture of that and then also of it's 
a collection of treasure, it's also a collection of memories. So for me, my collections um, very often are not just about the thing, but about the memory and the story that goes with it. Because um, I often hear, why do you have so many things? Well, it's, it's a, a double-sided thing. I don't like what's happening here. Uh, I'm going to do that. The... I think maybe just here, yeah, so it's less obvious. Um, this one's too white again because there's no white on the page and it's too fat, so I'm just again going to rip half of it off and then I think I'm just going to distress it with uh, some of the old paper. There we go, day 17. Um, I again had intended to make a very clean page, it seems that I am incapable of making clean pages. I like the Grunge Horse. Uh, I like the story behind it. That's a repeat of the ticking and a little bit of leather that I had lying on my desk. And then um, my very beloved dollar horse. Um, the next picture will show my collection. Um, and then you can see that they're actually supposed to be much fresher. But this is a different interpretation of it. Thanks for watching.